Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Dragon Hub. Today we are looking at Manjaro KD edition and uh, this is really bringing Arch with the user friendly experience together and over the years even though I think Manjaro is one of the pioneers bringing more people to Arch have like a lot of controversy around it and I don't necessarily agree by the popular opinions that that's entirely Manjaro fault because some of the decisions they've made honestly if I'm doing my own distribution I've kind of made the same decisions they, they made and I'll explain later on especially regarding how they handle software packages and the Arch user repository and before we dive into that let's just I wanted to show the boot option on Manjaro and how easy and user friendly they made the whole Arch experience if you have an Nvidia graphic card you can choose boot with proprietary drivers this will enable the drivers for Nvidia and, and that's it right that's everything you need to do to get your Nvidia graphic card up and running as always, I am doing this in a virtual machine, so I will just start with the regular boot option. But I just wanted to show the care and love that uh, developers at Manjaro are trying to give to people. And probably one of the reasons why they are almost always at the top 10 distribution on DistroWatch. And Let's let's take a look at Manjaro and the KD Plasma Edition. And if if you're wanting to try Arch, I know this is not a popular opinion, but I would definitely recommend Manjaro. And one of the main reasons people brought so much hate out, around the Manjaro is that uh, by default it doesn't enable the Arch user repository, which I would agree with Manjaro on this one, especially when you have a new users and, and they made it easy, right? It's, it takes one click if you want to enable it. But for the people that are coming to try Arch and they are new to the experience, it's really hard to justify it having the Arch user repository because what they are going to do, they are going to search and most of the people by default will suggest hey look just enable arch user repository install this package and you're good to go well not really right because arch user repository is community driven uh, repository and not the package uh, over there not how the packages are verified right and it's practically you are taking your own risk into using it and if you haven't live under the rock for the uh, past couple of weeks you will know that recently there was a malicious packages over there that caused quite a commotion so go search about uh, AUR but I, I want to show something uh, really really quickly over here and this is from the official Arch user repository documentation and you have this warning in red saying AUR packages are user produced content and are completely unofficial and have not been thoroughly vetted. Any use of the provided files is at your own risk, right? And this is nothing to do with Manjaro, right? This is what Arch official documentation is saying about the Arch user repository, right? So people hating on Manjaro that this is not enabled by default, I don't get it. And hopefully that's why I started making these videos. I can bring this unpopular opinions uh, back to the community and hopefully people will take like I don't know 20 seconds to do their own research and conclude hey well like whatever those people are angry about uh, Manjaro not having the AUR enabled by default well 
if I'm doing a distribution, most likely I will not enable it because when you broke your system or you get a malicious files, you will go and say, yeah, look, Manjaro as a distribution is responsible. They broke my system. It's terrible. Well, it's not Manjaro fault, right? You just didn't do enough research before you install a random package that some random person put into AUR and you don't know if that random person have malicious intentions or not. Um, that's, I just wanted to, to put this unpopular opinion about the AUR and I think this is one of the main factors. I don't know why people hate it so much on it, but one of the main factors that Manjaro maybe lost some of the popularity it had and you have the other side people that say hey well stay away from from arch based and manjaro because you will break your system in the first uh, two hours well yes if you are going to use the aur if you stick to the official repositories or you stick to flat and snap you most likely are not going to do that Right. That's something I wanted to get out of the way. And the philosophy of Manjaro is quite different uh, because what they're trying to do is to bring more user friendliness and stability to the community on Arch based uh, distribution. So they're kind of holding the packages from day one. They're doing their own testing before they're adding into their own. A repository which they are calling it like Manjaro stable, right? So they they go from the arch base into the unstable, they are doing some testing and they, they are uh, making them available on the general public through their own repositories, which I agree with this philosophy, especially on arch. So let's let's take a look on uh, couple of things. This is the welcome screen and I think they do have one of the best documentation I have seen on distribution. So anything to get you started and learn for Linux in general and, and how it works, uh, I, I think is one of the best uh, documentations on uh, distribution I have seen. Let's let's take a look on on couple of things first. Uh, it will be info center just to see what it's running. So it's running KD Plasma version six three six with kernel version six twelve and still Xorg uh, graphic. I I I kind of have mixed feelings about this against Valent. I know, for example, if you are playing games on Steam, well, Steam is developed for Xorg, right? And uh, it will need to use the translation layer uh, for Valent, which could cause some performance if you're natively running it. The native games, there will be no difference, right? But if you are using something like uh, Proton, right, it could have some difference. So I, I, I will not judge it either way. Uh, the adoption is growing for Valent. Uh, is it there yet to completely replace XOR? Mm, not sure, right? It will ever be. Uh, not sure as well, right? So more people need to start using it. So one of the things I, I definitely want to see is uh, the memory usage of the bat. So it's around two gigabytes, which is for Kiddy distribution uh, quite light. And I always love the Manjaro teaming, and especially on Kiddy Plasma 5. On Kiddy Plasma 6, I still see the kept their core signature teaming in, which is really nice to see because I think it's one of the most beautiful uh, KD teams they are doing over there. Uh, they are having their own uh, software repository, like I said, and they built a GUI version for handling packages over here. 
and just to show you uh, how easy it is to enable the AUR is just click of a button, right? And they are still giving you a warning over here. This is now Manjaro saying AUR is community maintained repository, so it presents potential risk and problems. Our AUR user should be familiar with the build process, so they are saying, hey, Ox. We got a lot of hate about this. We'll do a one button enablement, but you use this at your own e risk. If you don't know what you are doing, well, you probably should not go for it. And now with the arrays of Flatpak and Snap, I see they, they didn't add it Snap uh, as a default option. They added Flatpak, but still, right? It's click of a button and, and you have it, right? And uh, as always, right? Uh, we'll try to uh, search for our test. Yeah, probably this will will require. Oh, no, it's actually there, right? So, uh, but this is the native. It's not the. Let's me relaunch it. See, if, but most likely this will need a, a reboot, right, to start reading the flat packs. Let's me just see if the this will reread the software repositories or not. Yeah, now we have Steam, right, on Flatpak over here. So, uh, like I said, it, if you have watched any of my previous videos on the topic of Flatpak and Snaps, well, I think it's really good, uh, especially for software development and having more and more software available on Linux that will uh, make more and more people uh, switch to the Linux desktops. And I, I think that's a positive thing. I know like a lot of people hate it on that as well, but it gets really easy. And like one of the examples is OBS Studio where they said, hey, looks I will not support like hundreds of distribution. We'll worry about one, one package, right? And we'll put that package. And if you use that package, then we can offer you a support. And then we can offer you a quality insurance that if you install this package, most likely everything will work out of the box, right? So we do have uh, now let me search for Opera over here. Yes, Opera is there for um, Flatpak. So, excellent. It's click of a button. Um, click of a button and one uh, other thing I want to show, so uh, to mention actually, is Manjaro really believes in that arch philosophy, right, and uh, it doesn't give you, if you look at the software, like too much bloat or almost any, right, and when you do the installation, uh, you have the option to choose uh, between multiple office suite, I, I know one was uh, LibreOffice, I don't remember the, the other one, um, so you can choose your office suite or you can choose to install it without it, and uh, use your own uh, office suite or the office suite of your choosing that it's not present in those two choices, right? And that's that's something really nice they did. I really like seeing that. And they have a lot of applications that are built to help the user experience. So let's search for uh, Manjaro settings manager, for example, right? So if we go to Manjaro settings manager and let's say you want to have the latest and greatest, you can edit the or choose the kernel over here really easy, right? So we can see we are running on 6.12, which is LTS edition, but let's say for whatever reason you require 6.16, right? Then you can install this uh, kernel and boot into it. That's easy. Click of a button to, to have higher version of your kernel if you, for whatever reason, you need to have that newer edition might be uh, uh, newer hardware or you might be 
experimenting with something it doesn't matter right so that's really really cool to see that they put out this uh off into it same with uh hardware configuration right i i am running this into a virtual machine but if you were running nvidia you can choose your driver over here as well so they really made the art user experience to be user friendly for everyone and i really hope that they will continue doing that and i really hope people will start appreciating what manjaro is doing instead of hating on it and with that said i really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please press that uh, like and subscribe button leave your opinion down in the comments and i'll catch you next time